Marriott Hotel's intermission report. The Devils leading the Penguins 3-2. to two. This has been entertaining, Stan, from before the start of the game throughout. A lot of fun. Scintillating, I would say. Yeah, I've got goose pimples, but you can't see it under my my new jacket that and, you like. And have so I much. told you that it's a very fine looking jacket? Thank you very much. Now let's get serious. This Pittsburgh, they got a full house here. Sell out. The crowd is going berserk. And yet they don't know whether or not they're going to have this franchise next season. Well, Mario Lemieux is in attendance. And when his image was put up on the big screen, he received a very warm ovation, partly because he's the greatest penguin ever. But I think mostly because of what he represents. He does have that meeting tomorrow. Is it going to go his way? And will he be able to reclaim this or claim this franchise and pull it out of bankruptcy? Well, two things are happening. One is Mario told me he's having a meeting tomorrow. It's with the SMG group. They run this arena just like they run Nassau Coliseum. They've been a problem for the Islanders. They're a problem for the Penguins in that they charge what the team considers too much money. Mario is going to try to get them to trim that number considerably and then on Friday they go to bankruptcy court now the good news is that bankruptcy judge happens to be a penguin fan and a Mario fan so there could be a good uh, outcome there my prediction Mario will have the team by mid June I thought justice was supposed to be blind but perhaps in this case uh, having... this is Allegheny County man <laughs> <laughs> well, City Hall politics is tough in the big city and, and in the county here, uh, Allegheny County. But why would SMG want to alter its lease? True, they may lose, lose this team, but if they do alter the lease, whoever buys the Islanders are going to follow up and say, look, you did it in Pittsburgh, you've got to do it here. Well, you just answered the question. Uh, lose the team, not easy to replace all these dates, lose the Islanders. What else are they going to have out there? They don't have an NBA team, so I, I say they're going to hammer out a deal. All right, we'll find out. Of course, Mario will not or would not make himself available to us or any other members of the media. He will wait until Friday, so hopefully he'll be in New Jersey and we'll be able to get a report from him. I'm going to get very mad if you don't ask me about this second period. Well, I thought we'd perhaps save it before for, the start for of the overtime? Third. No, before the start of the third, but since you've uh, jumped the gun, go ahead, give us your thoughts well, on the second. What's concerning me from the Devils' viewpoint is that the period ended the way it ended on Sunday with Pittsburgh penetrating and uh, coming very close, so the Devils going to have to tighten up in their own end. All right, a report from Tamney Hall and a report from our studio here in Pittsburgh. Stan Fischler runs it all down for you on the New York City Marriott Hotel's intermission report. The Devils lead by one.